Welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Burke. I am a singer, songwriter, and vocal coach. We are about to get into this reaction. Before we do, if you are new, consider hitting the subscribe button, join the family, and if you want to learn how to sing, which everybody should want to learn how to sing, singing is such a gift. There's nothing like being confident in your voice, and I really want that for you. If you want to learn how to sing, I want to be your vocal coach. Check out my website. The link is down below. Sign up for the free lesson. It will get you excited. It will get you motivated and show you that you truly can improve your voice. I used to be horrible. Now I'm a professional singer and I'm telling you if I can do it, you can do it. And so make sure, check out Singer. Check out my website down below. I want to be your vocal coach if you're passionate about singing. All the information will be down there. So anyway, make sure to go do that either right now, pause this video, or before the video's over, or before you move on to the next reaction, just go check out that site for me. All right, let's get into this. So good. That old school hip hop vibes. Was that Jungkook? Coming in with that beautiful, breathy head voice. It's so good. And I'm telling you, as a man, it is difficult to have a great tone in your upper register, in your mixed voice, in your head voice, especially because as men, our chords are thicker. And it makes it very difficult to get up into that upper register and release some of the weight from our chest voices, which can cause it to either be way too piercing of a sound or <sighs> way too breathy of a sound and lacking presence. These guys just nail, <laughs> these guys just have nailed their head voice tonal qualities, and I'm, I'm a fan. I love it. Ooh. Mm. Okay, right at the beginning there, that was such an interesting cadence that he did on the offbeat. It almost sounded like it was off tempo, but it was on. I believe he was just he was just emphasizing the offbeat in an interesting way. Very good. Come on, this is like that old school. This, I, I love this. I love this. And these guys can rap. Rap, I, I figured it out in part one, not just RM, they all can rap. I'm impressed. Right on. Ooh. Just that like, duh, duh, ba -da, 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 da da that's all just right on the beat. So good. John Cook, what you, what you doing? And just so you can, you can really hear the tonal differences um, of, of of tone qualities in Jin and Jung Cook. How Jin has that really nice, bright, very kind of straight toned voice. Jung Cook really has a much more breathy R and B esque, soulful. Um, it's still bright. Still a very bright voice, but just a lot more stylization, which I think fits a song like this a lot better. I think Jin is great for those high mixed voice belts. He sounds so good in his upper register on those like high belts that he does. Beautiful. Nice. They're doing a great job transitioning into that breathy head voice into a mid-range note, maybe mixed voice, maybe more of like a chest dominant mix um, from what I heard there. It sounded really, really, really good. Ah. So good. Notice how he's, he's a little bit ahead of the beat there. Um, many people wouldn't notice this, but he's just a little bit right attack. His attack is just a little bit of ahead of the beat, which I think he's actually doing on purpose to speed it up because this song is a much more of a groovy song. And typically when you feel groovy, like let's say you're hearing a song where you just kind of want to, 
you know, do one of these. You probably would do it better than I can because dancing is not my forte. Hey, anyway, those songs are just kind of make you want to groove. Typically, they're a little bit behind the beat, okay? I'm not, I, can, I could go off on that for a long time explaining. I'll leave it at that. You can research this later if you want to or request a video and I'll make a video on it. But you're just a little bit behind um, um, the beat there and that's what gives it that kind of groovy feeling whereas a little bit ahead of the beat and it can almost give the listener a bit of an anxious feeling or a feeling where it's just very energetic and very like something's about to happen and so I think it's interesting that they switch that up I'm not sure if it was on purpose or not but it, it, it would be um, useful if it was Yeah, he's a little bit ahead. He's a little bit ahead. Okay, I might prefer it staying right in that pocket. But it's good. I mean, I like the variance. I don't know if he did that on purpose, but it, I mean, it worked. And again, these are things, these are very like nuanced things that no one would notice. Again, if you're a little bit ahead of the beat, it's going to give an energetic feeling a little bit behind the beat. It's gonna give more of a relaxed, kind of groovy feeling. <laughs> it's a new dance move right here. <laughs> what is this? Hey, 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 okay, I'm gonna start doing that in my performances. I'm gonna steal it from you, V. Listen to V's tone, I just, that's all I gotta say, V's tone is so unique, I love it. Come on, Junk, come on! Beautiful little riff! Listen to that flip into that breath of your head voice, right? Beautiful coordination of the chords, letting more air slip through the vocal chords when he's going up in that breath of your head voice note, and then and then contracting, compressing the chords, adducting the chords to have that more crisp, piercing tonal quality in his chest dominant mixed voice there. Great, great job. Sorry, not trying to get too, sorry guys. I can go off for hours. Oh, a little melody there. Well, I mean, I expected that part two was going to be up to the quality of part one, but it definitely exceeded my expectations. I got to hear a little more of those nice, smooth R&B vocals from Jungkook and Jimin, and even Jin and V, of course, V. Where's V been? I've been reacting a lot. I haven't heard as much of V. I need to just react to a compilation of him because he has one of my favorite tones ever. He's just... You can't compare his tone. It's so it's such a dark quality to it, whereas the other members have a very bright quality to their tone. It's hard to explain because it's not really like a kind of classical operatic bel canto uh, style of voice, but it's also not a just purely contemporary bright tone like some of the other members have. It's this interesting blend. It's just such an interesting voice. It's hard to put words to it. It's very, very unique, but Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this. This was great. Thank you for requesting this. Leave me a comment. What should I react to next? If you're new, make sure to join the family. Hit the subscribe. I feel like I'm a, becoming a true YouTuber here with these little like throws at the camera. Make sure to join the family. What's up, YouTube? <laughs> you guys got to call me out, okay, if I ever go that far. Anyway, join the family if you're new and if you want to improve your singing I want to be your vocal coach, so click the link down below, check out my website, take that free lesson at the very least, I'm instructing it, over 10,000 people have gone through that lesson and literally almost every one has told me after they went through it that they compared their singing before and compared it after and they heard an improvement, so I think that that's going to get you really excited about it. So.
Click the link down below before you move on to the next reaction, and I will see you tomorrow in the next video. Peace. Who you are is beautiful. can cut you straight down to the car do they know you feel pain do they know they're the same i guess they don't you're in the atmosphere you